Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. You're watching All The Beer No Idea, my name is Baz. Uh, as you can tell from the thumbnail, we've got a brand new beer and we are heading over to the Heineken Blade. Uh, the beer that has been released uh, is from Birra Moretti and it's Baffadora. Uh, it's a lager, it's coming in at 4.8%. Uh, now, I have had this on the sub many moons ago. Uh, probably in the early days of only one, so you're probably talking a good four years ago. Uh, I don't recall being a massive fan of it back then. I did have the glasses as well at the time, but they were only like 200 mil flutes, no longer have them. So what I'm gonna have to do is pour this beer in there. Uh, got this keg from Beer Wolf, make sure I get the name right, uh, for £33.99 for eight litres. Uh, so. I mean, the eight litres, officially 14 pints. I like to call it 16 500 mil glasses. So let's stop waffling. Let's get over there, do a video of the pour, and uh, then come back and take the review from there. So let's get cracking. So glass at the ready, beer at the ready. Just quickly, it does say on the front, Puro Morto Dorzo. I'm not up on the Italian, but I'm guessing <laughs> it's using pure malts in this. So, uh, yeah, let's give her a whirl. Let's get me little Heineken, me little badge on for you. I do like to have this on. <laughs> right, let's get pouring, like I say. So, beer in a glass. Golden straw colour, we're going to say. Plenty of bubs going up from the middle of the glass, as you can see. And as you can see, I've not done a very good job cleaning my glass. Uh, we've got a finger and a half, two finger white head on top, nice and compact. Looks like a typical lager. So let's dive in on the nose and see what we get. It's a big, big multi number for me. Big and multi. Dare I say it, a slight sweet syrupy aroma on there. There's no, there's no sort of lemon citrus thing going on in there for me. There doesn't seem to be any sort of spiciness. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit there. Uh, yeah, it's just all malty. Now, I don't know why, but, and I could be totally wrong here, but it reminds me of uh, that Effers, uh, that Turkish lager, however you pronounce it, Effers, Effers, I don't know. But it, it's it got that sort of maltiness to it. So uh, without further ado, let's stop waffling on. Bira Moretti's Baffadora, 4.8%. Cheers, everyone. Personally, that's not great. That's not great, to be honest. Body's quite heavy on it, to be honest. It's quite heavy, heavy sort of body uh, for a 4.8% 4.8% lager. Very little carbonation in there. Uh, you're not sort of getting that that fizz inside the mouth from the carbonation. Reasonably smooth. I wouldn't say overly soft. It feels for me, this beer is way too cold. That feels way too cold to drink. 
Uh, Taste-wise, it's big on malt. It's just a big malty number. Reminds me of that Turkish beer, Efez, I would say. Uh, there really isn't a lot going on in this beer. A little bit of bitterness coming in. Uh, a little bit syrupy on the taste. There's no sort of spiciness going on in there or that hot bite. There's uh, no sort of citrus thing going on. It's not actually a very nice bitterness. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm actually very disappointed in this and I don't recall it ever tasting like this uh, when I had it originally. Uh, I really don't. Now, whether it's gonna be one that grows on me, I don't know, but if I'm totally honest, that feels like one of the worst beers on this machine, if, in my opinion. I don't know if it would be better, warmer, if it's pure malts, it's that bigger malty beer, it can maybe do with being warmer, but you can't do that with this system. I don't know, I don't know. It's not a great beer, to be honest. I, I don't, I'm personally not impressed with it. Whether it grows on you, I'm not sure. But for me, Birra Moretti Baffadora on the blade. Uh, I'd rather drink the original Birra Moretti. In fact, I'd rather drink most beers on the blade over this. I think this is very disappointing, personally. Uh, yeah. Probably out of all the beers that they could have released, this maybe shouldn't have been the one. So there you go. There's my views on the Blade's new release, Moretti Baffadora. I think that's very disappointing. I'm sure there'll be lots of people out there that like it, but personally, very, very disappointing. If you've had this beer before, either on the Blade, whether you've lucky enough to have uh, got older one and tried it already, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think if you had it on the sub. I'm interested to know if anyone's had it on the sub and the Blade and can tell me whether there is any difference. Like I say, it's been that long since I've had it on uh, the sub. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but uh, yeah, that's it. If you want to give it a go, give it a go. If not, don't. If you've had it, tell me what you think. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.